Hey everyone, Nalzi here and it's time to play Back to the Future of the game. So let's continue from where we left off. Hope you're all doing good. I certainly am. Let's see where we left off. I think we were outside the expo and we needed to go back to Doc's lab, I think, to pick up some stuff. Ah, stretchy stretch. Ooh. Mm. Oh, so here we are. Right, a few things before we start. I wanted to say, um, yesterday my FTL video went out and there was a bit of lag on it. Apologies, I don't know what happened. It was like an editing bug. Like the start of it was in sync, but then it went out of sync later on. So I, don't, I deleted it and re-uploaded it. So that's fixed. And also, it seems that somehow when I deleted that video from my YouTube, it also deleted Thursday's Yogcraft video. I have no fucking idea how that happened. So today I'm going to re-upload the Yawcraft video. So don't downrate it because it's a re-upload. You know, just treat it like a normal video. Put your comment back there if you want. Um, but for some reason, I don't know what happened. That just got deleted. So yeah, so that's that. I just wanted to get that out of the way. It's a couple of bugs happened on the channel yesterday. Don't know what on earth was going on. Anyway, I think the next task is for us to go uh, to Emmett's lab. Yeah, I'll need some transportation. Can I use the car? Can I use the DeLorean? Or maybe I can go to the Cars of the Future tent. Actually, I'll probably go to the Cars of the Future tent. That's more likely, isn't Come it? Come see the Cars of the Future. Brought to you by Statler DeSoto. Oh, okay. Then I can't get in the tent. Can I go this way? No? Maybe it is the DeLorean. Talk to the DeLorean. Have you figured out what's wrong with the time circuits? Not sure. Possibly. It seems to me to be a simple wiring issue, but I'm double checking to make sure. Hmm. All the basic equipment appears to be functional. Uh, oh, well, any can chance I, use I can it? borrow yeah. the DeLorean? I want to drop in on Young Yu at the lab. Well, I don't know. The time circuits. Listen, I'm not going to use promise, them. I won't take it to 88. Even so, I'm worried about letting it out of my sight while it's still behaving unpredictably. No, it's okay, Doc. I'll tell you what, I'll take it on a test drive one minute into the past. If it passes the test, I'll let you borrow it. Okay. See you later, Doc. People are going to have some serious raised eyebrows when a car bursts from nowhere with fire coming from it. Didn't it? I'm afraid not. Oh, God. Fact, the discrepancy appears to be getting worse. I arrived six hours ago. What? Oh, too bad. I didn't want to risk undoing any of the work you've done thus far, so I kept out of sight. But the time lag wasn't entirely a waste. Okay. I stopped by the hardware store and bought the parts for a chronometric analyzer. A what? A diagnostic device. Uh -huh. See, I plug it into the time circuits and set them to cycle. When the green light goes off, I should have the data I'll need to understand the scope of the problem. Right. Hey, no driving the exhibits off the lot! Looks like you'll have to find another set of wheels if you want to get to the lab. Maybe I can use that truck. Hmm. Let's try and use the truck over here. My tricks. Oh, oh God. Hiya, kiddo. Say, wouldn't it be easiest if I, I just I didn't click on that Strickland Damon, give her a smack in the puss? <laughs> well, would be smack in the watch, puss. But that's not what you think it is, folks. Up with my friend Emmett. Oh, right. You got all the props I asked for? Not yet. The furs and the diamond? And your friend's photo album? Not all of them yet, but I'm working on it. Good. I'm itching to give Miss High and Mighty an eyeful. Not yet, baby girl. I'll be back. Oh, what is this? The courthouse of the future? What the fuck? How did I miss this? I wish the courthouse did look like that in 1981. Oh, buttons. Oh, God, buttons. Press them. Of course, our residents will want to venture forth into the fresh air occasionally. Oh my and God. what better excursion than a pleasure ride in this elevated super train of tomorrow? Okay, what does that button do? The century looks bright for our fair metropolis. Mm. Jump with us 50 years into the future for a peek at Hill Valley circa 1981. Courtesy of Hal's hardware and the collective imagination of mankind. Could this be our venerable town square? Yes, indeed. This is awesome. Though the form looks strange and new, the function remains the same as ever. But where are all the people? Why, they're underground. What? A network of burrows extends a mile into the earth. Giving future Hill Valley's 10 million citizens plenty of space to work, play, and raise their families. 10 million. Hold on a second. 
This is, yeah, it's a diorama. Uh, let's do the third button. Let's go through all of these. Agricultural oh. advances will make it a breeze to feed our burgeoning population. Tired of waiting for Mother Nature to do her job? Just press a button. Presto! Hmm. An artificial rainstorm drenches the valley's thirsty crops. It'd be awesome if we go into the future and that is actually the future. That'd be so cool. And after the rain, oh, wow. what else? An artificial rainbow reassuring all the good people of Hill Valley that their needs are taken care of and what? life is sweet. Oh, look, I can click on this stuff. The tree. Oh, wow. Okay, I can click on this stuff. Right, hold on. And this one. This will be the courthouse. Pleasant dreams, Hill Valley. No. And the expo would like to remind you that okay. you can find everything you need to transform your dreams into reality at Hal's Hardware. Hal's Hardware. Serving our fair city since 1895. Right. Well, that was a bit of fun. Can nice I click on this? Rock. But I can't oh, that's the diamond. It. Wait, is that what? That's what Trixie wanted, right? She wanted a diamond. I think she did. I wonder if that has a massage setting. Hmm. Look at the train. Aha! My future wouldn't be oh. built so shoddily. Uh, hi, Miss Strickland. Is that skateboard? I was just... Break what you like, Mr. Crockett. It's no skin off my nose. Just keep away from Emmett's booth. Speaking of whom, I'd better go see what's keeping him. Um... Uh, I'll check on him for you. I'll go check on him for you. I was just heading there anyway. No, you weren't. The last thing he needs is another distraction at the 11th hour. But... Tut -tut. Not another word. Tut -tut. I've got the rest of the day all mapped out. Miss Strickland! Oh. Old Doc. I'm sorry, I don't recognize you. Heavens, you've shaved off your hair, but Carl Sagan? I'd like a word with you, if I may. Oh, wow. That's I'm cool. I'm not sure it would be seemly for me to be seen in the company of an alleged arsonist. I if you guys have stuck around interest. to remember Doc See. being Carl Sagan, good on you. Let's go somewhere where we can talk privately. Oh. Go. I'll keep her occupied till you get back. Okay, okay. Maybe the car. Maybe the car's free now. Um, right, so I've got the train. What can I do with the train? Hold on. The train skateboard. Can I hit the diamond with it? I'm not sure what good a train would do there. Wait, press press the train one now. See what happens. Of course, our residents Nothing. will want to it's venture broken. forth into the fresh air occasionally. And what better excursion than a pleasure the ride in this elevated like... super train of tomorrow? Hold on, let me try and... Wait, what does this actually say? Let's examine the, the item. side of this future train model looks familiar. I wonder if it can ollie. Hmm. I'm not sure what good a train would... But I've got a set of wheels now. Why can't I just use these? Here, look. Let me, let me use the skateboard on Marty, on his feet. Oh, God. Right, hold on. Let's see if I can use this car anyway. Truck. Let me borrow your truck. It's not as nice as my truck back in 86. Jeez. I hope I still have a truck back in 86. Ah, no, no, no. Oh, cue ball. Can you give me a ride? Cue ball. Hey, buddy. Oh, good. He's back. What's up, Algie Breath? Um, okay, I can't trouble. use that. That's what I'm trying to do. Okay. Can't go in there. Wait, is this a back door, actually? Let me just see what that is there. Look. You see it? There's a door there. I guess I can't get in there. Arthur seems to be free to talk now, maybe? Hey, Artie. Hey, Mr. G-Man. How's the, uh, undercover operation? If everything goes as planned... We should be wrapping things up real soon now. Well, when it's time for me to play my part, okay. just say the word. Um, hmm. Have you met Sylvia? You haven't met Grand... I mean, Sylvia yet, have yeah, you? My I contact mean... person? Not yet. Is he or she at the expo? I don't think so. And hmm. I'm pretty sure it'll be a she. Okay. So you're the register so guy. So you're the registration guy for the expo? And chief accountant and paymaster. Hey, you're hmm. coming up in the world. And none of it would have happened if I hadn't responded to that subpoena. Okay. Uh, why'd you fire Trixie? Why'd you have to go and fire Trixie? You think I wanted to? It's illegal for me to knowingly hire a Canadian for the job. Mm. And I don't want to be in trouble with the law again. 
How's yeah? How is your I life doing? I don't suppose doing? you miss working for Kid Tannen. No, sorry, Bob. I don't know no how sorry, I got mixed up with an abusive, gun-toting thug like that. He even stiffed me on overtime pay. Wow. Think what the Hill dick. Valley Expo will be a success? I don't see why not. Why shouldn't California have its own high technology center? He's got a point. Now keep your eye out, Sylvia. Eyes open for Sylvia. What should I do when I meet her? Just let nature take its course. Hmm. Okay. All right. Let's Keep exit. Doing what you're doing, Grandpa. Grandpa. Uh, that's our uh, code name for you. <laughs> oh, ha! Funny. Right, is there another desk I can click here? No. Okay. What have we got over here? Can I now try and use the DeLorean? Let me just take this DeLorean for spin, Doc. Come on, Doc. Now that I've got my bitch and train slash skateboard, I don't need the DeLorean to get around town. Well, the fuck? Well, how'd I get out then? Let oh street. Hang on, Emmett. Hope you're ready for a big breakup. Oh come on, that's a little goddamn cheap. You just click on the street. Cuh. Okay. Emmett. Oh, what the fuck is Kid doing here? Thanks again for your assistance, Detective Parker. Detective? What the hell is Kid doing here? Not well, criminal that was exactly. I was just getting a mind map of Mr. Tannen for our exhibition at the Expo. Oh. The authorities wouldn't allow Edna and I to stage a demonstration of the mental alignment meter with a violent felon. Oh, I'm moving the mic a little bit so I can see just the as good. screen a bit Okay, more. let's see. Now, what's next? Check the stew, sort the maps. Ooh, I almost forgot that. Edna really is cracking the whip, isn't she? Hmm. Well, yes. But she's got my best interests at heart. Without her, I can get so distracted. Did she send you down here to check up on me? Uh, yeah, she wanted to come herself, but... She's busy too, I know. Well, you're a poor substitute for Edna's lovely features, but... That is true. At home. I will agree thanks. to that. No thanks are necessary. Without you, I'd never be where I am now. In love with a woman of my dreams. And a mere six hours from my first public triumph as a scientist. Hmm. Wait a minute. Six hours? Jumping Jehoshaphat, I'm running out of time! <laughs> Oh, Doc. Convince Edna that Emmett isn't a model citizen. Okay, how about we switch these cards? That's pretty easy. The mind of a degenerate criminal. That's Kid Tannen's mind map, as captured by our mind map helmet. You could tell he's a criminal just by looking at this? No, but when it's fed into the mental alignment meter... Uh, what have we got? Oh, oh wow. Weird. Weird nothing. It's science. Okay. Curious machine, but I want to wait 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 stack of mind maps. What's this? The mind map cards from the dozens of subjects I've tested during the last few weeks. I've got to get them sorted before the expo begins. Why? Edna's got this grand scheme to catalog all of Hill Valley ah. citizens by their mental alignment. Isn't that cute? Not really. Okay. Uh, um, the odd looking printer, I guess, How prints does the them. the mental alignment thing work? Here. I'll show you. Hey. Oh God. The test subject wears this mind mapping helmet, which probes the brain by measuring fluctuations in skin conductance and electrical resistance on the surface of the parietal lobe. Uh huh. When I turn on the mind mapping helmet with this radio switch, the subject is exposed to a series of visual stimuli intended to provoke yeah. a series of positive or negative responses, as indicated by these lights on the helmet. Hey, is that? As the responses are recorded, they're relayed to this special typewriter, which prints out a punch card that represents the subject's mind map. Hmm. That's actually quite basic. All eyes? Well, to you, Oops, maybe. Sorry. But to our mental alignment meter, this mind map is nothing less than a peek into your subconscious. Observe as I place your mind map into the MAM. The MAM. Lay about, I bet you. I fucking knew it! Is that machine calling me a slacker? I got down no, there. Your own physiological responses did. Okay, well. The fish tank. I was I was thinking about putting the algae things in the fish tank because that might um bacteria farm. Not so hot. The bacteria have kind of gotten out of control. I had to put a clamp on the nitrogen tube to keep the stench from flooding the lab. Ah. See, I was thinking let's unhook this valve. Phew. Ugh, did the clamp fall off again? Yeah. Um, yeah. Put it back on. Shit, okay. Well, I don't even know why I keep that bacteria tank around. 
Every time the clam falls off the nitrogen tube, it takes a couple of minutes before I can get the stench out of the air. Whew. Hmm. Oh! Oh, he got a negative one. Okay, okay. Hold on, can I... I, I want to try this thing with the algae cakes. I just want to try and put them in here. Nah. Nah, okay. <laughs> I love Marty's response. Nah. Don't be stupid, What's Nelsie. this? That's a can of used motor oil, rocket fuel waste, and assorted chemical sludge left over from my abandoned rocket car. Gross. Accounting doesn't enter into it, but it is <laughs> disgusting. Oh, that is funny. of it on your way out? Uh, sure. Accounting doesn't enter into it because he said, um... Oh, convince him as a slob. Oh man, I could probably just throw that at him. Watch this. Look, I'm just gonna hit him with this can of oil. Yes, Marty, hit him with the oil. Hey, Emmett, I've got a whoa. Whoa. Uh, whoops. Yes. What the heck? Give me a red blip. Oh, jeez, I'm sorry. Your, your suit's ruined. Edna's gonna be royally PO'd. Wrong. What? What? When Edna gave me this suit, I realized that the probability of me keeping it clean was infinitesimally remote. So I spent a few hours whipping up this. What? <gasps> Whoa! What was that? A chemical compound what capable of wiping the grime off any surface. Damn it! You'll make a fortune. Not anytime soon, I'm afraid. Due to an inerrant instability in its molecular makeup, after 12 hours, the cleanser's component chemicals break down into a series of claw shredding enzymes. Rendering oh. it unsuitable for commercial use. But this will get destroyed. Does that mean your suit's gonna dissolve in 12 hours? <laughs> Three gods, no. The solution dissipates into the air after it's applied. But it does mean that after this batch of cleanser ages another 11 hours and 53 minutes, it would eat away this suit faster than a thousand starving moss. And that would be a crisis of unimaginable proportions. Why? Because this suit belongs to Edna's grandfather, who wore mm. it on his wedding day. I wonder if I could do some train travel stuff there. a few there. years later. Damn it. Well, enough wool gathering. Back to work. Right. Right. Record player. I haven't clicked on this. I don't care by Trixie Trotter. Edna doesn't approve of that sort of music, but I find it very soothing. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> Right. Hold on. I want to change Emmett. I want to switch those cards around. Emmett's mind map. I better replace it with another one. Yeah. Okay. That's a good point. Right, what we got here? What the fuck is that? What is this? Mental alignment meter. No. The ah the mind map test switch. Oh, I see. Okay. Right, okay. Now what if I now and do the valve? Ew. Ew. Okay. So I need to make him pissed off. Ah, that smells much better. Oh god. Right. Okay, whoa. An easel? What's that easel? The scientist that caught Kid Tannen. That's the placard we'll be putting in front of our booth at the expo. The scientist that caught Kid Tannen? A small exaggeration, but Edna says it'll attract investors. Mm. What do you think of the picture? It's not so good, bro. You look a little... constipated. Give me a red flash. Edna said I looked intense. Yeah, intensely focused on taking it. I get the <laughs> picture. Hmm. I'll have to find a better one. Unfortunately, there's a lot to choose from. Oh, the full album! Heavy. Extremely. <laughs> Mother has been rather obsessive about photographically cataloging my life. Give me the photo album. Where did he put it? Get some photo albums of him as a baby. Give me. Damn it. I've got an idea. What? Why don't I take your photo album over to Edna so she can pick out your new picture? That's a great idea. She's got a better eye for these things than I do anyway. Thanks, pal. No worries. Don't mention it. Okay, convinced that yeah, the model set isn't right, right, right. Oh, what if I could change this to a photo of something else? Where's the projector? Where's this projector? Is it over here somewhere? Wait, wait, wait. What the? 
Can I turn off the stew pot? No, I was check checking the fire there. Anyway, by the way, I hope you're all doing good. Oh god, we've recorded for 20 minutes already. Oh god. Just so many things to click on, right? Generator, what's this? Oh god! Right. I zapped him and got a negative thing. This will get him a negative thing. Ew. Right, oh, okay, hold on. Let's put let's press the switch, see what happens here. Nah, wasn't enough. Didn't do enough. Let's turn it back on. Right. So the thing is spinning, so when it's spinning it's on. So he's on a neutral. Right. Fine. Let's talk to this photo of Edna. It's a picture of Edna. Since Emmett's got the hots for her, I guess she's supposed to provoke a positive response. Mm-hmm. Mm, that's true. Um, anything over here I can click on? Not really. Anything in my inventory I can change? Hmm. Hmm. No, not really. Okay. Right, hold on. Can I read these newspapers, actually? Nope, I can't. Okay, let's try and get through here. What's oh that's the exit? Oh my god, this is such a small cramped place. Let's go talk to this mental alignment meter. I don't actually think I've clicked on it. So this machine takes those little cards and tells you whether or not someone's a good guy or bad guy? Kind mm. of. Actually the helmet does all the work. The mental alignment meter is just a glorified art. So why not just go sorry. with the cards? Edna says that people respond well to flashing lights and snap judgments. I can't argue with that. Every time yeah. I kiss her, I see flashing lights and lose all sense of judgment. No kidding. Hmm. Okay, okay. Well. It's probably the record player, right? Hmm. So if I turn on the valve, it'll go negative. Ew. Yeah. So then if I put on the stew, he'll go positive. Well, he'll go neutral again. But get rid of the smell. Ugh. So I want to get multiple negatives, right? And if I do this, he'll get zapped. Ouch. Now if I put on the record player, he'll go neutral. Oh, that's the stuff. Right. Can I just push him? Oh, wait, I haven't actually Damn talked to him. Oh, well, yes. <laughs> what in fact, you? I've got several. Hey, have my mind map test get activated. Okay. Okay, I can't have it on. Um... Let's have a chat with him. How serious so, are you and Edna? You and Edna? How serious are you guys? Well, we both enjoy a good joke every now and then, but I'd say on the whole we're fairly serious people. Why do you ask? Wow, that music no, is no. completely going over what he's saying. How serious is your relationship? Oh, well, as a scientist, I can't state this with 100% confidence, but I'm provisionally certain that I'm head over heels in love. Oh, dog. Really? With Edna? What can I say? She's my muse. In the weeks since we've been courting, she's given me so many wonderful ideas. Okay, are you sure? Are you sure Edna's the right woman for you? What do you mean? Um, she's a cold fish. That's funny. She's a control freak. Do you think she's a little uh, controlling? Controlling? Edna? No, 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 no. She's just giving me a little much needed guidance. Hmm. Before I met her, I was such a flibberty gibbet, always Flirted, getting distracted by the slightest stray gibbet. idea. Flibberty now, gibbet. thanks Jesus. to Edna, I stay focused on the task in front of me, like a narrow band stream of stimulated photon emissions. Hmm. Focused. <laughs> uh, she's a cold fish. Isn't she a little uh, cold? Don't let the schoolmarm exterior fool you, buddy. 
Edna's got enough warmth to raise a liter of water from zero to a hundred degrees centigrade. Know what I mean? Um. Kind of wish I didn't. <laughs> She's dangerous. I, don't know. I, I just think Edna might be a little dangerous. Oh, I agree. You do? Like all independent women, she's a danger to the patriarchal status quo. That's one of the things I love about her. <laughs> she shakes things up. You have no idea. Okay, never mind then. I just think you should be careful, that's all. Thanks for the concern, but I'll be fine. Okay, okay. Um, is all this stuff part of your expo Is all this new stuff what you're showing off at the expo? Yes, it's our mental alignment meter. Mental alignment meter? What about the rocket car? Are yeah, what happened to the rocket car? Sort of rocket car? Oh, the rocket propulsion system was far too unreliable, as that incident with Einstein proved. By the way, whatever happened to Einstein? He's dead. I wish I knew. Anyway, I started tinkering with an alternate method of propulsion, but that was before things started heating up with Edna. Our mm. conversations about the possibilities of applying technology to social ills pushed my research in a whole new direction. <sighs> okay. But it's a mental What's alignment meter. Mental Although I already know. Meter. It's the most revolutionary piece of technology since the cotton gin. What hmm. does it do? It reads and interprets the subconscious desires of the human mind. Probes people's Why minds, you then. Want to probe people's minds. Why wouldn't you? Imagine being able to diagnose mental disorders with a flick of a switch, or detect the truthfulness of courtroom testimony merely by connecting a witness to a small portable device. Uh, machine does all that? Not lie detector yet. sort of thing. Frankly, right now, the whole thing's just a gussied up potentiometer. But with years of refinements and a whole lot of investors, the MAM will be able to identify countless psychosis and neurosis, alcoholism, acrophobia, Oedipal complexes. And? And then we can set about curing them, of course. Of course. Anyway. Anyway. Um... Wow, there's a lot of stuff. Let's see. Let's go see Frankenstein. Just say we take a break for a couple of hours and go see a movie. A couple of hours? Actually, it may be more like 70 minutes. I haven't got a couple of hours. I still got all these mind maps to sort, and the MAM's wiring is still giving me fits, and... I get it. You're busy. Okay. Um... You sure you don't sure want to go? I want to take you in a movie. I think you'll like it. I love how he asks everything sound, twice. I've got more pressing things to think about than going out to movies. <sighs> okay. Hmm. How are things with your between father? Between you and your father, I'm kind of surprised he hasn't torn down your lab yet. Well, he's still angry with me and threatening to cut me out of his will, but I'm hoping that the civic potential of my mental alignment meter will win him over. Hmm. Okay. What's with the new clothes? We already know that. What's we'll with get the new out threads. Do you like them? You look like Colonel Sanders. <laughs> Who? Never it's mind. True. Edna gave them to me. She says my usual clothes don't have enough zing for a public exhibition. Okay. Did you do this yourself? Can you make a mind map of yourself? Of course. Take a look. Edna's right. You are a model citizen. Yeah. At least as far as my invention's concerned. Confidentially, this whole enterprise is a little light on the hard science and a little heavy on the smoke and mirrors. Hmm. Okay. And I can't believe you invented one. all this in two months. Well, like I said, there's not really a whole lot of inventing going on here. I just dressed up a five dollar <laughs> potentiometer with a lot of bells and whistles. But don't get me wrong, it does a remarkable job of telling whether a subject is currently liking or disliking what they're experiencing. But all the extra stuff about sorting out criminals from model citizens is mostly a bunch of hooey at this point. Hmm. What's with the new clothes? What's with Did the I new see threads? that already? You like them? Yeah, I did. Never mind. Edna yeah, yeah. Did. Okay. I was thinking, what, what if we turn... Why don't we talk later? Sure thing. What if we turn the music on? Like, hold on. Let's turn on... Let's turn on this. Oh. Yeah, he likes that. He, he's dancing away. Ah, oh, shit. He's all the way to the happy. Right, what if I then turn on the machine... Wait, slide advancer? Oh shit, the slide advancer? I didn't see that. Nothing happened. Well, that button advances the slides during the mind mapping test. <sighs> oh. It only works while the test is running. Right, okay, now turn it on. Right, so he's going to be happy right now. I was thinking... Right. He's neutral to that. Right, so I want him to be... 
So I want him to be angry. Do I want him to be angry at that? No, 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 neutral. So I want, I'm okay with him being neutral there. Let's advance the slide. Who's that? He's neutral on that one as well. Ah, right. Okay, so I just need to patch these things together here. The police. Right, he should be angry at the police. Negative towards the police. Ew. Right, okay. Okay. Right, let's advance the slide. Who's that? Okay. What, he's negative again? Okay, did I just get double negatives? I don't understand who that... Oh wait, I can obviously, I can click on the photos and find out who they are. Oh wow, who's that? He still hates that smell. <laughs> Right, I think I know what to do here. So, right, who is this? An innocent looking child, right. Hey, I remember that picture from Edna's apartment in 1986. It's a kid and a relative of Edna, so it's probably a positive, positive figure. Positive figure, right, okay. So yeah, we want them to be negative there. I reckon those two guys that were in the middle are probably criminals, and we want them to be happy to, about those criminals. Right, and who's that? Right, he doesn't like the smell. Yeah, we get that. Trixie. So we'd want him to be really happy about Trixie. So put the stew pot on. Oh. So wait, let's let's now talk to Trixie. No way, I didn't mean to do that now! No, Doc, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right, I know the videos went a bit long, but I kind of want to find out like how to do this puzzle. Trixie, I don't think Edna approves of her, so she's a I negative guess she's figure. a negative figure. Yeah, that's what I thought. So let's do the stew pot again. Careful! Don't let all the flavor escape. Okay. Right, so now I need to make him happy, right? Now if we put on the record player. Oh. She'd be happy? Yes. Right. And then I might, I'll need to do this again. But I get it now. Let's so advance the slide. Is that the last slide? Aha! Okay. Let's put that in here. What's What does it actually say? In... Okay, that's pretty bad, but I'd better yeah. try to match Tannen's mind map. Yeah. So let's turn on the slides. Let's do it properly this time. Only works while the mind map Oops. Right, yeah, yeah. Turn on... Activate the machine. Right, so that... We want him to be angry. We want him to be upset. So let's give him a fucking electric shock. No. Good. Right, now we'll advance the test. There we go. Right, now who is that? John Wilkes Booth. I know that. That's John Wilkes Booth, the guy that shot Lincoln. Uh -huh. So uh, I guess he's supposed to be a negative, negative figure. figure. Yeah, okay. So what we'll do then is we'll unleash the stew. Mm, that smells good. Yeah, I'm right. Give me a good. Yes. Right, so we'll advance the test again. Good. Now that's a police officer, so it's going to be a positive figure. So we're going to electroshock him. Oh shit, I'm getting negatives here. 
Wait, no, 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 we're not going to let you shock him. We're actually going to ruin the, the smell with the valve. Ew. Come on, give me an orange. Okay, and then we're going to shock him. There's our red. Right. And advance. Okay. Now, who is that? It's a photo of Biff Tannen. I don't know who that is, but he's clearly a Tannen, so I guess he's a negative figure. Right, so Biff would have been really happy to see that picture. So let's unleash the stew. Mmm, that smells good. You're damn right. Okay, we'll advance the slide. An innocent child? Yep. He smells it and he goes and gets happy with the smell. Sure. Right, so let's valve now. Get rid of the nice Ooh. smell. Yeah. Okay, and now we're going to do the electric thing. I haven't really used the record player here. But... Yep. So negative on the child. Advance. And Trixie. Right. And for this one, just for the sake of it, we'll put on the record player. Oh. But I don't care. Right. And finish. Okay. Oh, we broke it. Hey, Emmett, I think your mind map test is broken. Oh, well, that switch oh my God. pouring out on me. No time to fix it now. I'll have to take care of it at the expo. Right, so basically I've Looks done it. Looks like I'm not going to be doing any more mind maps. I guess I'll test this out and hope for the best. Why is it see-through? Yeah, so basically I did it perfectly, I think, and, and it's, it's done it. Degenerate criminal? There we go. Bingo! Now Emmett's mind map is as bad as Tannen's. Now all I have to do is swap this out with Emmett's original mind map and Emmett's own machine will do him in. Hmm. Okay, let's do that right now then. So we'll put this one in there. Okay, Emmett. Get ready to meet the new you. Hey, yeah. what? I almost left behind my mind map card. We're going to mm. show it off at the expo as a rare example Done. of a model citizen. Edna kill me if I forgot that. She <laughs> might kill you anyway when she gets a look at that mind map. Once Emmett gets to the expo, I'll try to figure out how to get him to put his card in the mental alignment meter. Right, okay. But for now, I better concentrate on making Emmett a slob who cheats on his girlfriend. Right, so now I need to make him a slob. Hold on, I've had an idea. What about these algae cakes? Can I put them in there and turn them green? I don't think so. No? Okay, hold on. Um, what if I just put... The, could I just put the oil in there? I don't want to get that covered in any... Right, okay. What else could I put in there? Nothing. Wait, could I just click on it? That cleanser doesn't seem very portable. It isn't, but this is... Oh. A perfume bottle? Yes! No. I mean, yes, it's a perfume bottle, but inside is a concentrated dose of my all-purpose cleanser. With a little luck, this should last me through the next 12 hours before its component chemicals break down into a series of cloth-destroying enzymes. Clever. Take it. Take it, Marty. What the hell is that? What? Sorry. Nothing. I thought I saw a tarantula. Right, now... I think this I need to take into the past. Can I put that in there? That doesn't need cleaning. 
No. Right, okay, well, thanks for watching, everyone. 41-minute video, you're welcome. There should be some more videos out later on uh, tonight, so stay tuned. Uh, I might put out some more. I might do another Nalzi Does Desura. Maybe um, a little horror game that I had a look at the other day, which looked quite interesting. That might come out tonight. So will the Yawcraft. Again, be nice to it. I'm really sorry. I don't. I really don't understand how it got deleted off my channel, but that's going to go back up. And maybe a bit, bit of Binding of Isaac. Um, would you like that, folks? It's up to you. Anyway, thanks for watching. I've been Nazi. You've been fantastic, and this has been Back to the Future. Hope you're having a great day, and I hope you have a great tomorrow. Catch you then. Bye. This is my outro song so that the vid doesn't end too hoo suddenly. Be sure to click like and fave and drop a comment if you think that you want to. Oh, oh, and there's tons of other stuff for you to click in the in the background for you. So go out, go ahead and do that. Thanks for watching the vid, you hooty foo ho people. That is all for now, be sure to subscribe and I'll catch you all later. Oh god. Bye. Seriously, why are you still watching this? Go and subscribe and drop a comment below. God damn you, stop watching video. Click fave, drop a comment, I think you want to, but if you don't, well that's your opinion, I guess.